morning. I'm sorry that I came by unannounced. Sister Tiresia, how come? You are always welcome here. How are you? I'm physically well, at least one can be. But however, my spirit is uneasy. What's the matter? I have news and advice if you'll take it. You know I've always followed your advice and looked to you for help. Which is why so far you steered in a steady course. And I gratefully acknowledge the debt I owe Then listen to me now, because I fear you may be headed towards a disaster. Indeed. Well then, good sister, don't let me hold you up. Tell me your news. As I sat in the sanctuary, deep in meditation, the spirit came to me in visions of birds, vicious combat, savage cries, and deadly tongues full of foreboding and death. My body began to creak. Creon, this is a warning. All men fall into sin, but one doesn't have to stay in sin forever if he is willing to repent. My friend, those birds were Oedipus' sons, and the Spirit urges me to tell you to respect those who follow. There is no glory killing and killing again. I can't believe this. You're just like everyone else. Coming in here and telling me that I have to get some funeral for a grand cop. You've been working with that woman? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There's no more to make a difference between good and evil anymore. I would have thought a pastor, a prophet would. Here we go again. What was that? It's just that the men in this office have a tendency to disregard me when I come to them with warnings. Look, I'm not trying to argue with you, sister, but come on. You can't seriously be suggesting that God wants me to give a few little apologies. It's either that or as your brother-in-law slash nephew once said, I'm a crazy old man. <laughs> I don't think you're crazy. Just man an angle. An angle? Really now? What angle? Money, of course. <laughs> of course, because I preach the word and speak with God for money. Should I continue with my visioning? You mean you want to go? By all means, please. Just know I'm not paying any bill you set up the city hall. Then hear this. Before the sun sets today, you will lose your son. A son taken for the door that you owe, the life for the life you unjustly in prison, and the life you dishonor in death. Your time for repentance has passed, and you are now doomed to lose everything you once loved. Your house will be filled with screaming and crying, and the people of the city will rise up against you. You have become like Oedipus, puffed up in your own pride, and like him, no one can save you. Come on, someone help me out. Let's let him leave his, in his anger on some younger years. That was... That was intense. I mean, she's never been proved wrong. Ever. It's true. I know it's true enough. But my heart is torn in two. It's hard to admit you're wrong and hard to face the coming curse. Sir, might I offer you some advice? What do you want me to do? I think you already know. You have to free Antigone. You have to. That's and, it? And give her a few more promises. It's too much. All of you think so? Yes, yes sir. sir. Then, I must go and do it. I need the four of you to start immediately making a funeral arrangement for Polynesis. A simple funeral and make sure the press knows. And I will go myself to the jail to Antigone to apologize. Only hope she will forgive me for my stubbornness and stupidity. Good morning, everyone. How's everything? Good. Have you seen my husband about? He just left to head over to the prison. Is he changing his mind about Antigone? Good. That poor girl. I've been Creon with being ridiculous about her. But you know when he gets in his moves? You can't tell me nothing. No, he stepped out of the office. Wait, 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 hold on, slow down, say that again. No. Yes. And Haven. And you let him leave like that? Did you try to sell? Didn't answer. I will try calling him as soon as I get off the phone with you. Thank you, bye-bye.
He's dead. It's just as I wish he said. What do you mean he's dead? That was the officer from the prison. And Tiggany, she killed herself. She said she'd rather die for a cause than rot in jail for a crime that she didn't commit. Heyman went and paid attorney and discovered her body. He broke down sobbing and cursed his father. When the guards that was with him went to go find Creon, it was too late. They had already told him the news. They all ran, but Heyman had already gone crazy, and within the scuffle, he got a hold of one of the guards' guns. No. It's true. Heyman gave him an angry stare, he spat in his face, and without saying anything else, he pulled the trigger. He died like right there next to Antigone. Someone should go try to figure out where the man is. Ma'am? Go on. Someone should inform the police where the man is. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, she seemed unnaturally calm just now. That can't be good. I mean, it's herself, right? She's not like your pasta. I don't know. I just got a feeling that my stomach turns into that one. I'm gonna go for it. Good idea. The curse of my stubborn pride. Look! My poor son's blood on my hands. I was too late. Too late to stop her and not strong enough to stop him. And now they're both dead and it's all my fault. God has delivered his punishment and his judgment. And now I must take it. Creon, sir. I followed Eurydice back to your house. Eurydice! What about her? She was here when the prison called the news, sir. Um, as I said, she ran out. I went to follow her back to your place. I was knocking on the door and even screaming her name, yet I didn't get an answer. So then I proceeded to kick the door down, and I finally bust open the window to get inside. When I went inside, I went upstairs, and she was in your son's room, bleeding. And she used her last dying breath to curse her, sir. Is there no hope for me? I'm nothing now. Is there a gun for me to end this misery? Wife and son, gone. Gone in the same day. Oh God, end this miserable life! Oh God. Such a price to, such a price to pay for such a lesson. It's a cruel irony that stubborn righteousness has brought about such wickedness. <laughs> Come. We have funeral preparations to make.